Hey, good morning and happy Monday, everybody. Clint with CCUA here for another veg out video. Today we're doing some backyard exploration. We're actually gonna see if we can't find some bugs. You can see here I've got my little guide and my net. I don't actually think that I'm gonna use my net, but I did think that it would be a good prop for the video, right? So we're just gonna walk around the garden. We're gonna just kind of take a look around and see what bugs we can find. We're gonna talk a little bit about them, how we know if they're a good bug or a bad bug for our garden. Um, but before we get too far into it, I do wanna preface that I don't think there's any such thing as a bad bug. I think all bugs have their own little niche, their own function uh, that they have in the life cycle of everything. So even if a bug bothers us, like a wasp or something that eats our food, we may not want it around, but it does have a purpose to play. So we don't wanna hurt any bugs while we're out looking for them. So with that, let's get started. We can walk around. We'll just kinda keep our eyes open and see what sort of critters we run into. I always like to look along our little strips. Oh, and I see a couple bugs right here. We've got some box elder bugs. Uh, they're called box elder bugs because they love to live on and eat from box elder trees. You'll see those a lot this time of year as it's warming up and they get out and start exploring. There's another one right there. Box elder bugs aren't really a good or a bad bug for the garden. They are a true bug, uh, which is a term that means that, well, we call a lot of things a bug, right? But very few things are actually a bug, and box elder bugs are one of them. Looking around flowers is always a good spot to search for bugs. I love, love, love drinking that nectar out of flowers. It's still a little earlier in the morning. You can see we've got lots of, we still got lots of dew on all of our plants. And it's just a hair on the chillier side. So it might be tougher to find some of these critters. A lot of gorgeous flowers. I don't know if we got any any bugs flying around here looking for stuff to eat. Not quite yet. Lots of flowers here. Got any bugs munching? Yeah, no, Nothing quite yet. That was a beautiful little bush, though. Well, I see one little critter in there, actually. Uh, some sort of ladybird beetle. Not totally sure what kind it is. There's so many different types. A type of ladybug. And those are generally going to be a good bug in the garden. There's some species that are not so good, but for the most part, it's not a bad thing to see ladybugs crawling around your garden. One of their favorite foods, which hopefully we won't see today are aphids. Let's check, uh, let's check our turnips over here. I see a few little holes in our, in our leaves here. We may get lucky and find some stuff on the bottom of these leaves. I'm not seeing anything immediately. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff under there 
See all those little tiny holes are evidence that bugs have been around. They've been chewing on those leaves. Similarly, I bet we've got plenty of bugs hanging out right here in our uh, little perennial rectangle. All these native flowers growing, that's going to invite a lot of native insects too. Not so many quite yet because most of these haven't started blooming. You can see our columbine over there is looking nice though. We're going to take a closer look at that. Columbines have always been one of my favorite flowers just because I love the way that they open downward. You can see that. That's what it looks like on the inside. But I'm not seeing too many bugs. I do you know where I'll see a few. We've got some right over here. It's always a, a for sure spot to find some some bugs. We've got some lovely honeybees that live inside of our hive here. And honeybees are a hugely important, very good bug for the garden because they are really good pollinators. They're traveling from flower to flower and they're getting those flowers pollinated so that we can have all those delicious fruits that we love to eat. So right behind us, we have our strawberry patch covered in strawberry blossoms right now. And I don't see any bees flying around it quite yet. I'm sure they will when it warms up a little bit. But once the bees get in there and start pollinating those uh, those flowers, we're going to have some tasty strawberries to eat. Let's take a look over here at... Your phone's only got 5%. Got some asparagus over here. I bet if we look hard enough, we can find some evidence of some bugs enjoying our asparagus. There we go. All right, so this is really hard to see, but there are little eggs on the outside of this asparagus. There's one right here, there's one right here. These are asparagus beetle eggs. I bet if we dug around for long enough, we'd find the asparagus beetle. But we know that they're around because their eggs are on our asparagus. And they usually don't do too much damage. We don't have to worry about them, you know, devastating our asparagus crop. But it is something to keep our eye on. bug hotel. I wonder if anything is making it so in here. It's hard to tell because it's so dark, but it does look like there's a few things that have made their own in there. Maybe a spider in this bottom one. Or some kind of solitary would-be or something like that. Not a bug, but mushrooms are always neat to see around the farm, too. really important for us because they play a lot of important roles like pollinating. Uh, some bugs eat other bugs that we don't run around. But we're not the only critters that, the only creatures that benefit from having bugs around. Uh, another animal that likes having bugs around are birds. 
birds use bugs as a huge food source. At least some birds do. Ooh, let's see here. We got this old broken up stump. I bet there's some good bugs in here. Let's see. I'm willing to bet there's some wood beetles in here, some termites probably. They may have all gotten scared out when the stump got delivered here though. A lot of gnats flying around it, probably enjoying some of that funky stuff too. A lot of gnats flying around that little pile of exposed food scraps. Flies are one that we see around our compost pile a lot. Let's see here. Let's try. Let's look at this pile here. Let's see if we can find anything under the under the surface. There's a little worm crawling around. At least the tail end of one there. And then we probably won't be able to see it, but I'm sure there are plenty of bugs hiding out underneath this straw. And if you pay attention to chickens when they're hanging out, you'll notice a lot of times uh, what people call chicken scratch, where they just scratch at the ground and peck at it. That is because they're working on digging up bugs. So they think I'm going to feed them right now so they're not looking too hard for food. But if I wasn't standing here, I bet they'd be scratching around looking for all kinds of critters to eat. Well, everybody, that's about all we've got for today. Next time we do this one, hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer. So I'll have a few more bugs to check out while we're wandering around the farm. But thanks for joining us, and we will see you all again tomorrow.